I'm going to teach you how to use trading view with your phone. Let's say you have your phone, you want to use your trading view or you want to use trading view to analyze the market. Yes, it's best to use laptop. You understand whenever you're analyzing the market but let's say you don't have laptop or you have laptop but it's not everywhere you go you carry your laptop even if you are somewhere maybe you're not with your laptop you just want to analyze the market then you can still use trading view with your phone but the best one is to use laptop but even if you don't have laptop you cannot you know that cannot be a barrier you understand you have to use what you have instead of you know saying i wish i have laptop or if i lap I have laptop before I start all right you use what you have to start it's a process then when you get to a point where you have money to buy a laptop then you can buy a laptop and keep moving from there right so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to use trading view all these parameters that you see here I'm going to walk you through show you step by step how you are going to use it so let's get started the first thing you need to do is to go to what play store go to play store and download just type trading view all right go there and type trading view when you type trading view you should be able to uh, download it after you download it it's going to take you click on it and it's going to take you to this place when you are here i want you to pay attention you're going to see something like this so you're going to see you see something like this this is called what watch list this thing here watch list all right so when you look at this watch list what do you do you click on it when you click on watch list here it's going to take you to this page all right the, this page is the list of all the pairs any pair you want to trade whether nasdaq indices or even for the stock you understand you are going to see it here is going to list here but sometimes when you open here you discover that there are a lot of pairs that you are not going to be trading you understand so you need to delete some of them so that you don't have plenty pairs that is just full here confusing you to do that let me give you a stand let's say this last one here where we have uh Elo AUD, you can click and hold then click delete so you can delete all the ones you don't want to be seen let's say us 30 i don't want it you can just click and delete you understand you're going to see so many of them when you download it new so you delete them leave the ones you, you want but if there are ones you want but it's not here all you need to do is you come here then you, you see you see this button here click on it when you click on that button you're going to see what it's going to bring out a drop down like this here is where you are going to add any other one that you want let's say i want to add gbp i will just type gbp sorry gbp usd gbp usd all right as you can see when you type gbp usd you will see that there are a lot of gbp usd that appear what does that mean that is showing you if you take a look at here you are going to see that Okay, if you take a look at here, you're going to see this one. This one is FXCM. We have Onanda. We have this one, Forest.com. We have uh, this one. We have several of them, as you can see. These are several brokers that offer what GBP USD in trading view. All right. So all you need to do is to choose one. Choose one of them. All right. Anyone you click on. Let's say I click on this first one, which is what. If I click on this one, it's going to add to my list. I just click on it. So I click on it. It have added. As you can see here, now we have GBP USD here. As you can see, you see, you see, we have GBP USD here. All right, this is GBP USD because I have added it to my watch list. So as you can see here, everything you have here is what all the pairs that you can trade. Then. The next thing you need to do, if you want to enter any pair, if you want to enter any pair, you click on that pair, let's say Euro USD. I click on it. Immediately I click on it, it's going to do what? Take me to this page whereby you will see that chart. As you can see here, immediately it switch to chart. You see, now we have chart. Before now, I was talking about here, which is what? Watch list. 
the second one is chat which is this one now so if you click on any page it's going to take you to this page which is showing you which is showing you chat if you look here now you're going to see that it's telling you that you are on euro usd all right then that's what you need to take note of then the second thing you need to understand is if you take a look at here you're going to see ideas sorry let me delete it you see here we have ideas what does that mean if you click on it if you click on it it's going to take you to this place this place is where you can see analysis of others let's say you want to see what other traders are doing you understand people's opinion then you can be able to go through here and see what they are talking about on a different pairs you understand if you wish to then here now which is what news here is news all right if you want to see news just as you can see immediately i click on it it's going to take me to news you can scroll down and check if you want you understand then remember immediately you want to sign in it's going to ask you for your what for for your uh, email so you have to put in your email if you want to update your profile you can be able to come here and click on update profile down here so you're able to update it right then let's keep you know moving if you see here the chart i'm going to be explaining the chart now for you so if you see here we have you know usd here this one is telling you the pair you are trading why we have two h this two h means what it means time frame which is what uh, uh two hours you are in two hours time frame that's what this thing means you are in two hours time frame right this is two hours time frame then another thing you need to see is if you click on this button here all right if you click on this button here this button is where we take you to indicators you understand let's take for instance if i click on it if i click on it it's going to take me to this page all right you see we have drawing let's say you want to draw you'll be able to click on drawing here all right then you have indicators for here we have indicators here we have drawing here we have a lot if you want to set a lot you have compare all these ones if i start going deep this video will be too long you understand you can be able to go through it and see you know click on each of them know what you can be able to do with them you understand practice but for the sake of this video i'm going to be talking about one of it which is here so that the video will not be long you can be able to use other one this particular one that is say compare if you want to compare two pairs which means after you put a chart you want to compare two pairs the, the way they if, if they are collected or they are moving opposite uh, each other you click on here then add the second pair so that you'll be able to that's what this pair in this compare is telling you then so i want to show you something remember i said you should come down here come here for instance click on this all right which is this one when you click on it let me click on it now it take you to this page if you want to add an indicator all right if you want to add an indicator let's say moving average or whichever one as you can see here we have moving average here all right you see this this uh, blue line here this blue line is moving average all right if you want to delete it i can come here then as you can see immediately i click on this blue line you see moving average here it's selling me 200 moving average if you want to delete it all you need to do is to click on this star you see here then it will delete automatically it's going to delete all right so watch now if i click on it it have delete you understand because i click on that star sign then if i want to add it again that is when i will come down to here i will then come here and click on this plus sign below here when i click on that plus sign then it should be able to do what to take me to where i'm going to add it. as you can see here now i can click on indicators now if i click on indicators i will type here up here i will type the, the pair sorry the indicator i want to use if it is let's say moving average we just type moving moving average as i type in it it may appear as you can see it have already appeared moving average i click on moving average 
you understand as you immediately you click on it type on the plus star as you can see it appear here but you can be able to modify it as you can if you take a look at here let's say i click on okay if you take a look at here you will discover that this is what this is nine uh, uh, moving average which is not what you want if you want to use 200 moving average then what do you do what you need to do is to modify it by as you as you can see you click on that thing as you click on it then it will appear like this then you should be able to click on setting here you see setting here click on it when you click on it you should be able to modify this uh, moving up as you can see let me click on it as you see i have clicked on it then you click on input you see i see i click on input remember it was on style but i shifted to input all right see input here as i click on input display that is nine you change it to what 200 200 moving average then you click ok so once you click ok as you can see the moving average have changed if you want to delete it you still click on this star sign all right so i don't know if you understand if you want to go back you can go back see you click here any indicator you want to add you type it here immediately you type it it should be able to if it is if it is a rosi R O S I I. As you can see, it will appear. Then you click on it. Then you, once you click on it, you click on this uh, button here. You go back to your chart. All right. So that is how to add um, moving average it, with your phone. Remember, sometimes this thing you see here. This let let me show you something. Sometimes all this all these things you see here. This ones here. This ones. You understand these things. Sometimes it will not appear here in your phone. It will just appear the same way this thing, these tools are used to draw something. It will appear here, showing you all those things, depending on your phone settings and you understand that kind of thing. Sometimes when you download it new, all these tools or these buttons here, everything will appear here, all right? Everything will just appear there, which means by the time you click like this, all these things you see, all this, uh, let's say this particular one here, I want to show you something. Watch. If you click on this one, this one is where you will see a lot of tools for drawing. You understand? Or for using to analyze the market. All right. For instance, here, if I click on it, as I click on it, as you can see, we have this one. We have trend line. We have arrow. All those tools which you normally use when you are analyzing with your laptop, or if you have been following me, if you, you discover that there are tools I used to analyze, you see arrow. You see, you see. Uh, a lot of tools you see fubinachi here all these things are you can come here just go through it to be able to see a lot of tools that you can use you understand all these tools sometimes it's going to appear at the edge at the edge of your phone depending on how your own appear it's going to appear in this side not here this point that you click on it is not going to appear here everything will appear here all right take note if you open your phone and it appears in this side, all those tools I just show you now, then you can still be using it, all right? Then, having note that, let's continue, all right? Then, if you see here, you see there is, uh, we have volume here. Let me show you something. You see volume. Let me delete it actually. Here, we have volume. See, this VL is volume, all right? VOL is volume, all right? Then if that volume, you see this thing you are seeing here, you see all these things that is appear here, you see red, blue, but it's a little bit deep, all right? That is volume. If you feel like you don't want that volume, you want to delete it, the same thing, just like I showed you earlier, all you need to do is to do what? To come here, click on that volume. As I click on it, it will appear here, click on the star. You understand as you click on this now it just disappear okay then if you want to scroll you know to see past that as you can see just hold your front this your screen and be scrolling backward you understand you'll be scrolling backwards you'll be able to see past data what has happened if you want go to go back to the front you scroll to the front you see the way i'm scrolling to the front so you'll be able to do this with your phone you'll play around with all these things so that you'll be able to know it watch this video several times all right then if you like what I'm teaching, just click this the like button 
click the like button of this video so that is what you need to be doing all right then the next thing you need to do is when you come to this place let me show you something you see here here is showing you price all right all this place is the price as you can see here we have this one now this one is showing you the price that the market is currently all right that is the current price of the market as of now then note that you can be able to increase the size of all these things this chart as you can see here is a little bit deep if i if you want to do it all you need to do is come here place one of your finger at the up here all right let's say you tap at this place where you see numbers that's those numbers is price when you place one of your finger then drag it down all right watch what i'm going to do i want to like shrink the this size of these candles that you see here you understand these things i want to shrink it so watch what i'm going to do the first thing remember i say you should place your hand at the top not down all right the, uh, this one now the first step now is to place your hand at the top of your phone if you carry your phone like this place your hand around this region on the price so on the price like this don't place it here place it on the price all right then when you press it on the price see what you're going to do watch me i'm going to click my hand on there then i will drag it down i'm dragging my hand that click and hold at the top then drag it down as you can see have you seen the, the it's shrinking the, the the length of those candle you understand then if i want to expand it to be longer i'm going to click at the down watch here this time i run, i will click my hand at the down the first one i did i've placed my finger at here click and hold then drag it down all right but this time around i'm going to do what i'm going to click at the down then drag my hand up all right this means i want to expand it you're going to practice this with your phone then watch i'm going to click here then i drag my hand uh, i'm drag my hand up watch it have you seen that it's expanding it's expanding i'm dragging my hand up remember i click from down i drag up i click from down i drag up. if i click from up drag down it's going to shrink but by the time i click from down drag up is going to expand practice this try to play around with it so that you get used to it all right then that is the first thing then if you want to expand remember if this one i did is to increase the length you understand but the size which means you want to make it to be too bold you are going to be clicking clicking your hand here you understand within here not here remember the first one you were clicking your hand here but this time you're going to click on the top of your screen you understand so watch what i'm going to do now i'm going to place one of my hand here then one of my hand below two fingers one should be at the top here second one should be down if you want to increase the size of this candle you understand because now the size is not big all right just watch one of my finger what i'm going to do i'm going to place it on top while one will be down I, I then I drag I drag as you can see see it if I, I drag the hand together you see it just try it so that you'll be able to know how to expand see as you can see the candle now is becoming bigger then if I want to shrink it I drag my hand together if I, I expand my hand the two hand I place one at the top and one at the bottom if I drag it just try try this thing on your own you should be able to get used to it all right just try it as you can see you can be able to play around that is how sometimes when you are watching even if you are using laptop you'll be able to see some you see you just notice that when you are watching video somebody is just expanding it you know playing around with it you expand the candle these are the things that you can do watch this video several times so that you don't make mistake all right so you scroll up scroll down you expand it remember the other one i was touching at the edge this time i'm touching at the middle of your screen you understand so sometimes it depends on what exactly you want to do. If you want to increase the size the size is you touch the middle of your phone all right up just drag it up and down two of your finger 
but if you want to do it you want to increase the length then is the edge this place that the price is is where you will drag up and down drag it up and down to be able to do that all right so that is what you need to do whenever you're analyzing with your phone you can be able to play around with this practice makes perfect you cannot just know it by just keeping quiet or without practicing it you need to keep practicing these things come here you try each of them you place it you place you come here you click on here if you click on here you should be able to do you see or this one remember let me show you something now this this thing you see here which is a uh, two hours time frame if you want to change your time frame you just click on that spot just click here when you click here you should be able to change your time frame the time frame you add all right i'm going to click on that two hours watch have you seen that different time frame just appear whereby you can switch to any time frame of your choice all right you can be able to switch from any time frame then when you are done you click on this star at the top it will be able to take you back all right so that is where how you are going to be using these particular tools try to play around with it try to play around with it so that you get used to it you know another thing i want you to pay attention is if you come down to this place uh, let's say you click on here if you click here all right which is this point when you click on it it's going to take you to see this page there is tools that i normally use let's say i want to draw trend line you see trend line here so you can see trend line here you click on it you see another thing you see this you see let go i use all these things when i'm analyzing with laptop you understand let's say you don't have laptop but when you are seeing my analysis you want to practice that all right you should be able to come here you see those two you see short you see long all right let me just use this uh, this uh, trend line and show you something you see it immediately i click on that trend line it's already here all i need to do is to come down here you need to drag this thing here see this plus sign this blue line this blue dot you place it as wherever you want to start to draw trend line let's say i want to draw trend line from here all the way up then i have to drag this dot place it here. after i click on the trend line then once you place it at the point you want to start then tap on it have you seen as i tap on it then it pop up as a pop up then i will drag have you seen it i'll drag all the way up depending on how i want to drag have you seen it like this then the same thing you can be able to adjust it to anywhere you like you understand you cook down and adjust it but that's how you draw your trend line all right if you want to remove it you tap on it click on this delete button here immediately you tap on it you see this delete button will appear here you click on it so that you'll be able to delete them all right as i click on it now as you can see it have disappeared uh, if i want to go and bring another two another two i can bring i can come back to this same place then click on it then but let's say i want to use this uh, two this one here all right i want to use it which is buy in order to calculate my risk to reward ratio then all i need to do is to click on it sorry as i click I'm going to click on it as i click on it it's going to take me here when it takes me here as you can see that blue dot is still showing all right which is telling you immediately you tap on the screen it will appear let's say i tap here have you seen it it have appear but if you appear you need to adjust it if you watch my video you notice i normally adjust it until it suit my target you understand then i tap on it if you want to adjust here to place your stop loss where your stop loss should be you drag the down the down is showing you your stop loss you understand how many people it will cost you then you drag it why if you drag the up it's showing you your take profit you understand if you're able to see these things i'm showing you here so so i want to show you something if you watch here you will see that whenever you place this thing now if you look at this point you see that that this that number that is uh, shaded green is showing you take profit which means that will serve as your take profit this one below here that is shaded in red is going to is showing you your stop loss which means that number will serve as your stop loss if you set this thing well why this one that is dark a little bit dark is showing you what entry point you understand so i don't know if you understand but maybe practice will make you perfect all right so if you want to go back and still adjust this you can be able to adjust it 
you need to know how to adjust these things you go back and watch those my videos all right so that you know how to use these things watch those videos very well all those videos i do analysis and show you how to analyze the market when you watch it you come back practice with your phone practice with your phone if you don't have laptop keep practicing with your phone all right you see it you are drag it to any length just watch those ones i did there so that you also know how to do it which i'm going to at the end of this video, i'm going to add it to for you so that you also see it some of those my analysis all right then another thing you need to take note of is this whenever you place this you're going to see something like this you see this thing you see here that number you also see this one this one is saying you list to reward ratio which is here we have one is to what that 2.49 is telling you that your 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 list to reward ratio is one is to 2.49 that is your list to reward ratio why this one below here this down one here which is 117.5 is telling you that your stop loss in pips that is showing you in pips is what is one one which is 117.5 all right why this one you see here is showing you that your take profit in pips is 292.8 pips all right so you use these parameters to be able to know what you are doing practice it practice it very well so that you'll be able to get used to it that is how you are going to be using all these things when you ever you analyze it the same thing is applicable to uh, if you want to delete it just just click delete here all right just like i showed you earlier you click delete you tap on it click delete it's going to disappear if you want to apply the other one which is what the down one short short position you click on it as you click on it the same thing let's say you want to sell from here you drag it to here then tap again as you can see it have appeared as you appear you'll be able to adjust this set your stop loss proper set your take profit if you don't know how to set your profit go and check my video click on my channel you are going to see some videos i did on that then you'll be able to be able to calculate these things you understand the same thing here we have what we called what here this one that is in red serve as stop loss serve as yours your stop loss in pips here is stop loss normal stop loss in price but here is telling you how many pips it will cost you to move from here to here all right so that is what is showing you why this one is also the take profit in price here is in ratio like this to reward ratio which is one is to three gets used to this practices several times so that you'll be able to understand it but that you don't have laptop should not be you know a discouragement not to start pushing forward all right check the next video at the end of this video so that in the next video I'll attach a video to it watch it so that you also know how i do these things in a live market and how i'll be able to practice it very well by copying those things i do there you can be able to practice very well so if you find value in this video i really appreciate it just click the subscribe button and also like the video click in the comment section i want you to type uh, anything anything you want you understand to show that uh, you actually understand the video or just type i understand just give me that you understand it too it's a way to support the channel 